and there, are, there were numerous stars on the sky within that box. Uh, one of them uh, had a catalogue number, it was HDE226868. That was forever in my brain. I, even when I'm completely gaga, I should be able to tell you the number of that star. So we measured the, um, uh, the, the radial velocity, the, the speed of the star, over and over, over again. And um, I suppose we measured it about three or four times, and three or four times it came out exactly the same, and then one time it was different. And so we went on. And um, after only a matter of a few weeks, it, it did appear that the star was moving. Um, and so it was, um, uh, the explanation, the natural explanation for that was that it was a star which was in orbit around another one. Mm -hmm. And we could see that star, but we couldn't see the other star. And so here we were faced with the situation of a star which is ordinary and another star we can't see, which might be ordinary, might not be. Mm -hmm. Um, a place where there were x-rays coming from, possibly this unseen star, um, and we knew the mass of it. And the mass turned out to be um, six solar masses, six times the mass of the sun or more. And that was interesting because if, if you had a small star emitting x-rays of mass, six solar masses, what star could it be? It might be a white dwarf, it might be a neutron star, but they have masses that are only about one solar mass. Mm -hmm. Or it might be bigger than that, it might be a black hole. So um, uh, Louise and I published a, a, a paper about, um, about uh, uh, the X-ray source Cygnus X1, mm -hmm. which might be identified with this system that contained HDE 226868. And if so, and it all connected together in this way that we'd fantasized about, yeah. then the companion was a black hole. And that transpired to be the case. There was a large amount of evidence that accumulated since um, to suggest that that was right. Amazing. So it was, um, it, it, was a, it was a good discovery. I mean, it was, it, it was just very striking um, uh, that the, the day we came to that conclusion. Uh, it, was in, it was in one of the turret rooms in the castle, in one of those octagonal rooms in, yeah. the, in the turrets. Uh, the one nearest the equatorial group, in fact. Okay. And um, uh, and then bingo, God, it must be a black hole. You know, I, I done this right. You know, I'm gonna go through the calculations again, yes, yes. go to the library and check. I've got them. Remember the formula properly, and so on and so on. So yeah, it was. It was after about one hour, I mean, we several weeks of getting the observations, and then one hour of doing the analysis. I thought, crikey, this is a black hole. That's been very exciting. It was terrific. <laughs> it was terrific.